കരഞ്ഞ ശേഷമല്ല വെൽക്കം ടു ഈസി ബി ടേക്ക് ടുഡേ ഇൻ ദിസ് ക്ലാസ് വി ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു ലേൺ അബൌട്ട് വൺ ഓഫ് ദ ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് ടോപ്പിക് ഓഫ് ഡേറ്റ ലിങ്ക് ലിയർ ഈസ് ചാനൽ അലക്കേഷൻ പ്രോബ്ലം ചാനൽ അലക്കേഷൻ പ്രോബ്ലം ലെറ്റ് ഇസ് സി വാട്ട് ഈസ് മെൻ ബൈ ചാനൽ അലക്കേഷൻ ആൻഡ് വാട്ട് ഈസ് ദ പ്രോ വാട്ട് ആർ ദ പ്രോബ്ലംസ് റൈസ് ബൈ യൂസിങ് ബൈ അലോക്കേറ്റിംഗ് ബൈ അലോട്ടിംഗ് എ ചാനൽ ടു ദ ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് യൂസേഴ്സ് ലെറ്റ് ഇസ് ഗെറ്റ് ഇൻ ടു ദ ടോപ്പിക് റൈറ്റ് ഓക്കെ ചാനൽ അലക്കേഷൻ പ്രോബ്ലം സി വാട്ട് ഈസ് മെൻ ബൈ ചാനൽ അലക്കേഷൻ പ്രോബ്ലം ബിഫോർ ഗോയിങ് ദീസ് ചാനൽ അലക്കേഷൻ ഹിയർ ടു കമ്മ്യൂണിക്കേറ്റ് on particular type of data from source to destination in the network we have to establish a one channel we have to establish a one channel you have to allocate a channel from source to destination or sender to receiver right see what is the problems or rise by using this channel allocation see that in a broadcast network the single broadcast channel is to be allocated to one transmitting user at a time one transmitting user at a time here when multiple users use one multiple users use a shared network and access the same network the channel allocation problem in computer networks occurs here that means whenever we are sending data from source to destination the channel will be allocated to a particular user at a time to a particular user at a time here in the network the more multiple users or uh, multiple users or uh, shared the same network to access the same network in that in the type of situation the channel allocation problem will rise in the type of situation the channel allocation problem will rise so to allocate the same channel between multiple users there are the channel allocation techniques will come under this concept channel allocation techniques will come under this concept here what is the problem is rising one channel is allocating to one user is not a problem the one network or one channel is allocating to the multiple users then the channel allocation problem will rise for that reason here to allocate that particular channel between multiple users the techniques are used the techniques are used in a computer networks we can call it as channel allocation techniques channel allocation techniques let us see what are the techniques we have by using this channel allocation so these are the channel allocation techniques see to use a particular channel in an efficient way in an efficient way to give an frequencies high speed frequencies time slots and bandwidth channel this particular technique is used this particular techniques is used see channel allocation problem will rise when multiple users need that particular network to communicate data from source to destination in the time only this channel allocation problem will rise right so to use that particular network in an efficient way for multiple users to increase frequencies time slots and bandwidth of that particular channel we have a different techniques are using in this channel allocation right there are two types of channel allocation techniques have to remove this channel allocation problem we have a two types of channel allocation techniques nothing but an static channel allocation and dynamic channel allocation static channel allocation dynamic channel allocation right so static channel allocation mainly used in local area network and metropolitan area network metropolitan area network mainly these two type of networks we use as static channel allocation let us see what is meant by static channel allocation and dynamic channel allocation what is the purpose of this channel allocation how we can communicate data from source to destination by using this channel allocation right so static channel allocation the static channel allocation is a traditional way to allocate a single channel between multiple users to allocate a single channel between multiple users okay so this is called 
static channel means we are allocating only one channel between multiple users who are using that particular type, uh, particular network so that uses uh, allocate this single, single channel only the static channel is also called as an fixed channel the static channel is also called as fixed channel means uh, this type of frequency range we are providing that's a fixed okay the channel will be fixed so static channel is also called as a fixed channel as a real example means uh, the telephone channel so the telephone is uh, so many members are there we are using a telephone network but the telephone channel is only a single way by using this channel the multiple users can communicating from one place to another place from one place to another place see the basic examples of static channels or frequency division multiplexing and time division multiplexing frequency division multiplexing and time division multiplexing that means you can allocate a either a fixed frequency frequency or a fixed time slot right fixed frequency or a fixed time slot is allocated for each user okay that means if more number of users are sharing on one type of network so i have a 10 hours time let us see one example i have a 10 hours time so this time slot will be divided into 10 slots this time will be divided into 10 slots and each and every user allocate a one hour time to communicate data from one place to another place through that network through that network that's why the static uh, the frequency division multiplexing and time division multiplexing are the major examples or the basic examples of static channel allocation okay next dynamic channel allocation dynamic channel allocation means this technique in which channels are not permanently allocated to the users means the users while communicating uh, data from source to destination the channel is not permanently allocated to the user dynamic you know the meaning of and dynamic dynamic means wherever we want whenever we want a particular channel to communicate from source to destination then only you can establish the channel then only you can establish the channel dynamic means there is no fixed uh, thing in particular type of uh, channel there is no fixed thing in a particular type of channel so we can easily use and we can easily connect and disconnect we can easily connect and disconnect right whenever we want whenever we want okay so uh, for that uh, this is an example in uh, uh, CSE subjects uh, the array is a fixed memory location and a linked is a dynamic memory location. Whenever we want, we can allocate. Whenever we don't want, we can uh, disconnect that particular channel. Okay, so this is an example of dynamic. In this technique, no fixed frequency or no fixed time slot is allotted to the user. Right. Here, in the pre in before, I said that static channel allocation, you have to either maintain a fixed frequency. Means, uh, while data is communicating from source to destination, the data will maintain one frequency level, okay, to uh, trans uh, to deliver from source to destination frequency level, or uh, the user. Uh, maintain in one time slot so within one hour i can i uh, will communicate from source to destination so either fixed frequency or the fixed time slot right so in this there is no issue of fixed frequency and fixed time slot whenever the user want to communicate data from source to destination then the user uh, allocate in a channel and with any time any time in 24 hours anytime he can allocate channel he can communicate and he can release the channel okay that is a facility of a dynamic channel allocation so the channel uh, this uh, the allocation depends upon the traffic traffic means there is a network traffic right so if the traffic increases the more number of users are there the more channels will be allocated the more channels will be allocated okay so here the channel allocation problem is rising for that sake here whenever the network traffic increases the more channels will be allocated to the users 
means because many number of users are there in the network there are only a few channels the traffic is increasing then the channel allocation problem will rise in this uh, situation so to avoid that the allocation depends upon the traffic and this traffic uh, whenever the traffic increases more number of channels are allocated to a particular users how many number of users are there the more uh, number of uh, channels are allocated to reduce the traffic and to uh, eliminate the channel allocation problem right this technique optimize bandwidth usage optimize the bandwidth usage and provides fast data transmission this technique optimizes bandwidth usage and provides fast data transmission dynamic channel allocation is further characterized into two parts further characterized into two parts uh, nothing but centralized dynamic channel allocation distributed dynamic channel allocation let us see the diagram what is the centralized dynamic channel allocation and receive a uh, distributed dynamic channel allocation so you know the meaning of a centralized system or the distributed systems right uh, in the previous classes we already told about an a distributed what is meant by distributed processing okay so let us see the what is the centralized dynamic channel allocation and distributed dynamic channel allocation let us observe the diagram here so this is a diagram of an this is a centralized and this is a distributed processing okay here the centralized uh, uh, centralized allocation channel means here one server will there and what the uh, one network is there and different number of users are connected to that particular server it's nothing but a client and server communication in simple words we can use uh, we can uh, Uh, tell this is an client and server communication okay so these are the different users that connected to the server okay centralized system is and each and every user has an one type of channel allocation provides an one type of channel allocation from the server okay so this is a dynamic channel allocation like in client and server communication whenever the client request is the server you response to the particular user or the particular client so like that only here one server uh, here in that uh, one server will act and number of uh, users or uh, uh, want to communicate uh, data from source to destination the server allocates a dynamic channels to each and every user who connected that to that particular network who connected to that particular network this is a centralized uh, dynamic uh, channel allocation centralized dynamic channel allocation and the distributed channel allocation distributed channel allocation means here there is no uh, concept of an uh, any server uh, here each and every systems are connected with each other each and every systems are connected with each other so he uh, communicate uh, number of systems uh, we can communicate from source to destination at any time okay distributedly the channels are allocated distributed the channels are allocated at any time this particular uh, this particular device can communicate this device and this particular device can communicate this device and this particular device can communicate this device okay so no number of systems can communicate this is a distributed way processing here each and every user maintains in one channel one dynamic channel for communicating uh data from source to destination data from source to destination so this is a centralized dynamic channel allocation means here one server will act uh, the from that server only we can allocate a channels to each and every users who connected to a particular network and distributed processing means uh, here one channel is there that will be subdivided into number of uh, channels and what are the number of users we have that will be allocate this dynamic channel any chan uh, dynamic channels to the each and every user any device can communicate uh, in the network with another system okay so this is a distributed process and this is a centralized process right this is uh, this is an actual diagram okay uh, let us continue okay so see the following assumptions in a dynamic channel allocation so what are the uh, assumptions we need uh, in dynamic channel allocation means station model uh, 
uh, station model means uh, the station uh, requires a particular independent stations. Independent station, stations means uh, the one station will not depend into the another station while transmitting data from source to destination. While transmitting data from source to destination, it will not be dependent on other stations. Uh, that is an comprises an independent stations with a program for transmission and single channel. Single channel means a single channel is available for all communication. A single channel is available for all communication. Any type of communication, any type of communication, we can uh, communicate by using that single channel to the particular user from source to destination. Right? Collision. Collision means if frames are transmitted at the same time by two or more stations, then the collision occurs. Here, number of uh, users using a uh, number of uh, users uh, using a multiple channels right but when the user want when the uh, two users want the same channel to communicate data from source to destination in that we will rise and collision we will rise and collision okay collision means the two frames will collide collide means combined okay crashed okay so for that reason this type of error, we have a different type of multiple access of protocols that will be discussed in the later classes. That will be discussed in the later classes. So, in this dynamic channel allocation also, there is a chance of collision when two or more stations use this. When the dynamic channel is allocated, uh, the two or more stations wants to uh, that type of channel to communicate a source and uh, source and to communicate data from source to destination. So, you have to provide that channel to communicate. So, in the time we uh, the collision uh, will rise in the particular channel uh, the two or more frames can can get collide okay so that will be eliminated by using a multiple access protocols okay that is the next topic continuous or slotted time continuous or slotted time means there is no master clock the device time into discrete time intervals here dynamic channel allocation there is no matter of a fixed frequency at the fixed time slot fixed frequency and fixed time slot so that is uh, one of the main important reason okay and carrier or no carrier sense carrier or no carrier sense means uh, so station sends the channel before transmission why the station sends the channel before transmission means uh, if the channel is ideal we can communicate data we can send the frame to the particular uh, destination when the channel is busy while while we are sending a frame there will be collision rise collision occur so carrier no carrier sense means station sends the channel before transmission definitely the particular stations who want to communicate from source to uh, who want to deliver the data frame to the destination or the receiver compulsory that uh, to sense the channel whether it is ideal or busy whether it is ideal or busy because there is a chance the particular channel will be used by two or more stations or two or many users because they need that type of network means we can definitely allocate that channel to a particular users that is the main thing so before deliver or transmitting a data frame to a uh, channel first of all you have to sense the channel whether it is busy or idle whether it is busy we have to wait for some time after that you can uh, transmit that particular data frame into the channel okay whether it is ideal you can send the data frame into that channel so these are the different types of assumptions in dynamic channel allocation right so in this uh, video we see that uh, what is meant by channel allocation problem uh, and what is the channel allocation uh, what are the different type of techniques we have in a channel allocation problem Okay, we already said that dynamic channel allocation and static channel allocation and we also discussed that the static channel allocation is used mainly used for a local area network and metropolitan area network. So, otherwise um, dynamic channel allocation means you can see the world wide web, you can take the example of a, a van. Okay, so dynamic channel allocation, there is a number of uh, assumptions, we have, assumptions we have in dynamic channel allocation. So these are the different type of uh, thing we all discussed in this video. Uh, kindly like, share, subscribe, easy BTEC for more videos. I hope you understand, right? Thank you.